Jesus Christ is not a party. He doesn't belong to a party, nor will he ever. <laughs> Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your b -b 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 boy. Do, do, do the John. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the video, please hit that sub button if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell to let me know when I post another video for you guys. And hit that like button. And if you like video game content, check out my video game channel, Do the John Gaming. Link is down below in the description. Let's get into the video, shall we? This is I Hate Christian Spoken Word Poem by John. You can even read the name on the title. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. Sorry. Um, I believe I might have heard this one before. Um, but this, the title alone, kind of. Makes me not want to watch it. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know. Remember. If I did or not watch this or not. But I don't know if this is a. Message. <laughs> this foe of hate. Or anti-Christian. But make no sense to me though. Because this guy is a Christian spoken word. Christian. Per, Christian. Spoken word poetry person, so I I think the title is more of a oh, what's the word I'm looking for a clip rate maybe um, but let's find out I hate Christians. This common phrase rarely escapes the prison of my mouth, but festers and stews in the crockpot of my mind when I see you. You know who you are. Not all Christians, but those few. The parent disowning their gay son. The pastor- Okay, now I see where this is going. Blaming school shootings on the unrepentant sin of their congregation. The seminary student using his budding Bible knowledge to bully the seeking soul who now, thanks to you, feels that they have no place with God. And every time I see you, I find myself scurrying. I have a feeling I'm probably not going to be stopping this too much inside. Because uh, the beginning alone... This first 50 seconds, I'm relating. So almost everything that he's saying, I feel the same way. So that must more strange, but we'll see. Hurriedly reassuring, I'm not that type of Christian. The stereotype turned up way too loud and I can't find the off switch for your hate. I can't turn down your judgment and if I play it backwards, I swear I'll hear your hypocrisy speaking clearly. I nearly want to tear off the label altogether. Just call me a friend of Christ, a believer, a spiritual person. Anything to get away from an association with a nation of denominations without coordination, lack of integration, and substantiation. But where is your grace? Who's the last face you looked into and simply said it's okay? But your Facebook debate is more important, right? What will the world do if they don't hear from you on how I can't vote Democrat and still be a believer? Oh, blaming deceiver, bearing a name that you profane with every... I'm going to back this up just a little bit after I get talking. The whole thing about the Republican is the party of Christ. No. No. Republicans are not the party of Christ. 
Democrats are not the party of Christ. Christ, Jesus Christ, is not a party. He doesn't belong to a party, nor will he ever. Just because you're Republican doesn't mean you're Christian. There's more I'm not going to get into it because Jesus Christ and politics shouldn't mix because they're not the same thing. Nor will they ever will be. So just because I voted for a Democrat president doesn't mean I'm not a Christian. I believe that most of the Democrat core ethic beliefs that they want to do to make the world better is what Christ would have done. Granted, I, the only thing about the Republican belief system is the pro-life movement. That's the only thing on the, the Republican side that I agree with as a Christian. Everything else that the Republican side believes in, I disbelieve in. And one of the things that I don't uh, believe in on the Democrat side is the pro-choice. But that's just me. Ultimately, I don't belong to a Democrat party. I don't belong to a Republican party. I don't belong to an independent party. I belong in the Christ party. Because Jesus Christ is higher than any party in the whole world. I'm a Christ follower. Not a political follower. Samaritan you step over oh Pharisee Samaritan with ever bearing a name that you profane with every Samaritan you step over oh Pharisee blind to see the least of these and you and me profess to believe the same thing we married the same dude we wear the same ring and so friend brother sister wife I take back what I said before. I do not hate you. Not because I don't feel it, but because that doesn't help anything or anyone. Don't hate the believer. Hate the judgment. Hate the distortion. Hate the foolishness, but I do not hate you. I love you. And I wish we could talk about that word. Maybe agree on what it means and what it looks like for both of us to act on it. I see you. And we need you. Yes, yes, yes. I could probably go for a whole hour talking about this. I'm going to try to cut it down a bit. <laughs> um, if you are Christian or you're not a Christian, We have to agree on one thing. Hating people is never an option. It shouldn't even be an option. The war between believers and non-believers because The believers, they think, not all of them, 
but some think it, oh I'm a believer of Christ all these non-believers are below me no doesn't work that way and that makes the non-believers hate all Christians and all Christ followers because of that stereotype and it leads them away I don't hate anybody there's people in the world that I should hate for all the right reasons but I don't because I'm that type of Christ follower who loves everybody I may hate your judgment like he said you're judgmental I could hate your sin I could hate what you're doing or what you're saying or what you've done but I don't hate you you can come in my comments and say all nasty things like you're a loser you're trash give up on this reacting thing because no one cares or anything like that Yeah, I'll admit, those words will get to me a little bit, and I'll admit, 90% of the time I will just delete the comment, because I want nothing but positivity in my community, but ultimately I don't hate you. Because of what you said. I may hate what you said. And dislike and all that what you said. But I don't hate you. You can have different belief systems than I have. You can have different morals than I have. You can have different... Whatever. The same goes the same. And what I say it after every single video, and what I'm going to say after, after this video is over with, and what I say after every single end of my stream, my video game streaming, what is on my logo, not the blue one, this one over here that you can't really see, but you can see my this pray my cover for YouTube here and I always will mean it no matter what I love you even if you don't think I love you there's no one thing you are loved Period. Thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, you are loved.